Hello everyone, this is Moot, and on this episode we spotlight the Conquest PvP server. You can find the server advertisement on the Worm forum. You simply go to the Worm, Unlimit, uh, Worm Online forums, forum.wormonline.com, and you can go ahead under the Worm Unlimited server listing PvP, and you can find his server Conquest PvP. It's a 100 times skill gain, 10 time action timer, and it's heavily modded and an overhauled pre-system. So basically what he's saying is he's added these incredible different features that bring unique taste to PvP that is different than any other PvP we've experienced in Worm Online or Worm Unlimited. Um, it's fast, so new players who are interested in enjoying the game who don't want to go through the grind but really want to understand the basics of the game can join the, the server and pound through their skills really fast to understand how it works. Different features of the server, there's three kingdoms, there's Stormcrows, Rohan, and the Bomani. Um, each kingdom has its own flavor, its own sort of uh, way it, it competes in player versus player. We're going to go through each kingdom specifically, uh, but before we get there, we'll talk about the main server and how, um, how, uh, how it's set up. So, three kingdoms, different champion and king mechanics, combat mo bonuses are different, uh, each kingdom has a favored weapon type, uh, armor has been changed in order to create armor that's more uh, diverse, so in the current Worm, Unlimited, or Worm Online or Worm Online Chaos or Epic, uh, the really the main player versus player PvP has... Uh, scale or drake armor or on epic it has plate armor and so it really limits your ability or your the type of weapons you use uh, to correspond with the damage reduction that is given to those types of armor so what taylor has done here is uh, change the uh, favored weapons so that people f are forced to use different armor to protect themselves um, faster animal breeding, local range has been reduced by 40. This uh, also helps with any sort of cheating mod that can see players from across the map. There's no special move, so you're not going to be stunned for the entire round, which is really important to veterans. Uh, this is one of the problems uh, that people were complaining about uh, because you'll get into a fight and you won't be able to fight. Whoever gets their stun move off first is going to be the winner. Dirt wall slopes have been changed to be capped at 100, so you no longer can have those 300 dirt slopes that you have to scale up or destroy in order to raid a deed. Um, let's see, body character characteristics have been capped at 50, which means that eventually everyone's going to be at the same level. So a new player who starts is going to be uh, caught up to a veteran player probably in less than a couple days, and we saw that on the desolation server that no more than five days that you were maxed out in everything and you were able to compete with everyone else the meditation path has been capped at six so you no longer have shield of the gone or hate bonus or um these things that really uh makes pvp unbalanced you can't teleport you can't do these crazy things but it does give you some of the features uh, that the meditation paths go through such as double bashing doors or um, healing or meditations or uh, enchanting grass that's what I'm looking for uh, moving on to the priests no priest restrictions but priests have been actually changed in the server uh, just a little bit in order to benefit uh, the flavor of the server uh, you can no longer conquer guard towers. You can bash or build guard towers for territory expansion, but you can't conquer them, which is different than Worm Online. Trolls are a big part of PvP where you can beat Dominate and kind of bring in a tank to do more damage. You cannot do that on this server. Long Spears were changed to be one-handed, and that kind of really helps uh, bring more diversity to the weapon genre that you can use. Uh, the... Valerie missions are enabled, and you can build pillars, uh, but the build pillar temple and pylons were removed. Uh, the cool thing is that you can write scorpions, uh, which is also great. 
prospecting mod, action timer mod, better dig mod, no artifacts. That was a kind of a big concern for a lot of PvPers are the artifacts. Anyway, so you can go ahead and read this. I don't need to read through uh, read through it for you. Uh, you can go ahead and read all the flavor text as, along with this. One of the cool things is the champions. Uh, here's really cool. So to be a champion, you have to be within your god's holy site. And there's three gods, and we'll cover those in each individual setting. There's three gods, and in order to be a champion, you need to be a priest with at least 60 faith. And that takes probably a total of 15 minutes to actually get that high probably less than that actually 10 minutes and you need to stand within your holy site for 15 minutes now here's the caveat as you're standing within the holy site and becoming a champion it sends down it sends a server-wide message telling people that you're trying to champ up this is important because this is going to spur player versus player people are going to come to your holy site to try to make it sure that you can't champ so this is just another avenue where people can uh, come together or force people to come together or invite people to come together and have uh, a pvp battle it's the great thing about champions is that even if you lose your champion it's only for one week and if you gain champion you only gain it for one week and so it allows us a lot of this rotation each kingdom has three champions so you can um you can have a lot of turnaround uh, in kingdoms that have a lot of people or people who die a whole lot too. So different flavor text. Some of the things that he's implemented here are uh, uh, the different armor and glance radius and things like that. So cloth armor, chain armor, plate armor, leather armor. Each one has benefits. So leather armor, if you have an opponent that is using mauls, and if you wear leather, then you have a higher chance of... Uh, of making that weapon glance off of you. If your uh, opponent has, let's say, uh, using a piercing like a spear and you and you wear plate armor to help mitigate uh, any sort of spear, a chance that they can hit you. They, he also implemented these cool tabards. So depending on what kingdom, you have new tabler, tabards. In order to get these, you just install the mod loader and uh, a little information around here for that so let's go ahead and join the server we can find the server in our worm unlimited um, server list we just type in conquest and it's right there and let's go ahead and join and there it goes uh, interesting it says seven kingdoms so Let's just start off with a simple one, the Bomani. Let's join the Bomani. It's dark. Let's we can go ahead and change that darkness. And wow, super cool. Oh, we didn't look at the map. Let's take a look at the map really quick. Here is the map. Um each kingdom is in their own place so the bomani is um uh, desert dwellers the storm crows are uh you know people who live in the forest and then rohan are riverland fisher folk so depending on obviously what kingdom you choose will depend on which place you spawn so you spawn in each kingdom's starter town and from there you can go ahead and explore so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at um, each kingdom individually and if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments uh, the server uh, creator can monitor the comments or go ahead and post comments in their worm forum um, post and he can answer those questions appropriately thanks for watching stay tuned